do this again. Don't be scared, baby doll, promise you. We're here again. Okay, you're not you're not coming in. We've been through this, okay? So unless you've got a unless you've got a, a valid warrant or you've given me a summons, which you haven't, which we've been over, then that won't be happening. Okay, so we've let you know. All right, we're not gonna have this discussion with you anymore. We've been over this. I can't believe we're going through this again. Unless you have a valid warrant to show me that there's something wrong with the meter then that won't be happening. You didn't show me a valid warrant. I was given no summons by a court, okay? So this won't be happening. I suggest that you walk away now. You're not going to be showing me the same fraudulent iPad warrant with no wetting signature. Same same thing again. Absolutely. It's not happening. It's not. You should have given me a summons from the court in order to defend myself. We've been through this and yet there wasn't. You showed me a warrant on an iPad and thought you could break into my home with a locksmith. Well, it's not happening. It's not happening. You're not seeing any meter. So I suggest that you step away. You're not coming in unless it's an emergency, which it what? No, it's, you have to show me presentable and factual evidence then that there is a problem with the safety. You, we discuss, no, exactly, exactly. So we discussed this before. You said that you went, you went to go and get a fraudulent warrant based on your belief that there was something wrong. And I told you very clearly that belief doesn't stand up in court, does it? No, only factual presentable evidence stands up in court you can't go and say i'm going to break into somebody's house on the belief that doesn't work like that now please will you step away from the property no, we need to see and i've answered you so are you going to just keep standing here arguing with me you're not coming into the property unless you have a valid warrant to do so and showing me your ipad warrant based on your belief is not a reason for you to come in it's also fraudulent you've done this fraudulently and criminally i'm afraid you're not allowed to get away with such actions you're not allowed belligerent acts of terrorism breaking into somebody's property okay without any factual evidence to do so you're not allowed I'm fully, I'm fully aware, but again, you're not allowed to adjudicate in a civil matter. You know full well you're not allowed to. Exactly. Thank you very much, officer. You also need to give me your ID, officer. Who are you, sorry? What's your badge number? 1451. 1451, and your officer name, sorry? My surname is Bargelli. Bargelli? Awesome, thank you. Right, we've already been over this, so this is just getting very boring now. You're not coming into this property unless you provide me with factual evidence that there is a reason to do so. You're not coming on in here based on your belief. Can I just ask you a quick question? Well, just frankly speaking, yes. what's the reason why they can't come and check the meter with your permission? They've tried to enter in criminally in the way that they've tried to do it, which is deceitfully. Right, okay, well... As we're here now, they, they do have, they so, have their own, just, just, just hear me out. Just hear I, I'm listening to you, but you're not meant to be adjudicated at all. You're just meant to set back at this. I'm yes. Just asking a question. Now. Yes. Um, just in being here now, they do have a warrant on there. They, they, do, they don't have a, 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 a right, warrant, right. Agree with that or not. Um, is there any reason why you won't? allow them into the property yes quite clearly because they're trying to come in to they're saying to to, to look at my meter yeah. yes there's no reason for them to look at the meter there's no nothing wrong with it we've had certificates done professionally there's nothing wrong with it you must understand officer i could knock on your door couldn't i and say that i believe something in your house isn't safe and i'm coming in and you'd say, well, you need to provide me evidence of that. You can't just, you, you, you know, there is a warrant based on what, though, officer? What was, what was the, what was the evidence that was given before the justice of the summons? Well, like I said, just as the key, sorry. Exactly. You don't know. You don't know, though, do you? Yes. And, and, and I also have. Pre do you, could you just wait there for me, officer? Could you just wait there? This, uh, sorry, was meant to be confirmed on the day. Okay. Sorry. From the court that had no jurisdiction. Yeah, it's not a court warrant, that's why. So what warrant is it? That's interesting. What warrant is it? It's not a court warrant, but it's issued from Birmingham Magistrates Court. And I know it isn't, which it should be. <laughs> this is from Birmingham Magistrates Court, which they claimed it was issued by. I rang them on the day and spoke to the lady. No outstanding warrants. 
I rang them, and this is on video, officer. I know you shouldn't be here to adjudicate. I rang them on the day they were here, last Tuesday it was. No outstanding warrants. They have no warrant to come in. You've seen it with your own eyes, officer. Come on. Come on, officer. You've seen it with your own eyes. There's no warrant. There's no warrant. So you shouldn't. So you shouldn't. That'd be criminal. And, and I've said no. You've already tried to break my door down, get, getting in with the getting in with the locksmith, castle locks. You've already tried for nearly two hours, nearly two hours aiding and abetting the officers were, causing me alarm and distress. And here you are back again, thinking you're coming in. Oh. oh, oh! You do tell some porkies. You do tell some porkies. If I'd had my letterbox open, what the hell? So, 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 sorry. When was the letter sent? You have evidence that when the letter was sent, that was sealed. Do you? You're just making things every time. You've been here twice. Please, can you just step away? I'm not having these juvenile conversations with you. You came here because you said that you want to look at the meter. You do not have my consent to look at the meter. So, what? <laughs> you don't need my consent. Oh, yes, you do. Oh, yes, you do to come into someone's property. No, you're not listening. You see, you said it's health and safety. We've been over this. We've been over this. <laughs> oh, wow. You're pulling out all the stops now. Do you see why this is dangerous, what you're saying, these claims? You're a claimant here. You're making claims. I'm putting my neighbours in danger. I hope you're hearing this, officer. You're putting your neighbour... Right, so in order to do that, I can't believe we have to go over this again. You, you would have had to apply to the magistrates for an emergency warrant, which would have had to be executed in 24 hours. If you really believe that, you would have had to put that evidence in front of a justice of the peace and told them this is an emergency situation we need 24 hours to execute this because we believe that life limb or what have you is in danger you were not able to do that so don't give me lies would you you, exactly, you wouldn't. What? you're just telling lies aren't you telling absolute lies as you go along you don't have my consent to come in we've been over this you're laughing again look at you look at you finding it hilarious again I've answered you, I'm not going over this anymore. Okay, I'm not going over this anymore. And if another police officer thinks that she wants to adjudicate in a civil matter, I suggest that she backs off. Please don't, I'm not interested, thank you. It's okay, Major. It's okay, baby. Could you leave, please? Well, you're letting her get involved now, are you? She's adjudicating, is she? She doesn't know her job, does she? She's young. I'd let her off. I've told you, please. I've told you, please, to step away from my door. Patronising isn't against the law. Please, could you leave my door now, please? I can't actually believe you've got the audacity to come back. It's brave of you. I'll give you that. We established, didn't we, with PC Underwood what reasonable force was, and he said that he was only going to try and break the lock. He couldn't do anything else. I explained to you over and over and over, there are a barrage of locks on this door. Unless you are prepared, or three, four, however many are you of you, to bash this door down with all your body weight, or to get a saw involved, I'm asking you how you think you're getting in. How are you getting in? I know. So you're not coming in, are you? You're not coming in. You're not... You're really going to regret this massive fraudulent lie you are telling, health and safety reasons. You would have had to apply for a safety and emergency warrant from the Justice of the Peace. You would have had to have laid your information out, which you can't give me. You can only tell me what your belief is. Belief doesn't stand up in a court of law. I told you also that had to be executed within a 24-hour time frame. There is no emergency. Shall I tell you furthermore? On Tuesday of last week, you came here saying there was a safety and emergency 
problem that you need to check the meter. But ironically, ironically, you then walk away and come back a week and a day later. You must think I'm an absolute idiot. Please go away. You're wasting my time. You must think I'm an absolute idiot. You walk away from a health and safety situation and then a week and a half later come back. So it was okay for a week and a half, was it, the emergency? Use your brains, goodness me. Officers, come on. You must think I'm daft. Please, he's already asked me this. I'm not going to... He's already asked me these questions. I'm, I'm not answering again with all due respect. I've already answered. Okay, my darling, hang on. It's okay. Could you... You're causing such distress to my child. Please, could you go away? It doesn't matter how old my child is. Could you please... Could you please leave? And sit down, please. Same threats as before. We won't believe in. You can't say that we won't believe... Well, of course you are. We're not going to believe it at the moment, that's it. Right. Until you've terrorised us a bit longer. Last week you said you would actually take a photo of the meter. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, well, no, I didn't say. You suggested, you said that that would be okay, and then you didn't retract and you still stayed, so. Because you didn't take a photograph of your meter. Because you didn't agree the terms and conditions of that. We can't walk away unless <laughs> we've actually seen the meter. Right, well, you're not. Well, what's the reason for, for us not being able to see the meter? What's the reason you do want to see the meter? What makes you I think it's yours? Instagram. What makes you think it's yours? <laughs> Baba, Baba, why don't you go and take yourself up into bed? Go on, please. Go on, no, go on, please. Serial number is Alpha 10 Mike 06148. Your meter has not been read oh. in years. We need That's to see it. the meter and read the meter and check all the the appliance completely to make sure that it is 100% safe. I know you do. You can go and sit in the car like you should do in a civil matter and rest. That's okay. You're only here for breach of the peace, remember? No, There's going to be no breach from me. I'm up a bloody ladder, aren't I, at the top of a window? Come on. I'm not breaching anything. I really do suggest that you, you ring your chief constable or your sergeant or something, though. Because he certainly has from us. <laughs> oh dear. I can't see the reason as to why you won't let us for health and safety. I know you won't. I know you won't. I know you won't because it's fraudulent what you're doing. You can't do things honourably. We've already discussed this, 3rd of October. 3rd of October, you even checked it out in front of us. We tried to reach out to you, didn't we? You checked it, that man, whoever was with you, wherever he's hiding now. You checked it out on his laptop or iPad. We showed you that we'd begrudgingly, you know, got into contact with you to ask you what it is that you wanted to check and if you wanted to arrange your time. It's like I'm dealing with, with morons. So instead of answering a time and death, I'm not doing this anymore. Not doing it anymore with you. There's no, just no name communication. Name so I, I, I ask you specifically anyway, to arrange a time. Let us in. So no. This is the time that we are here now. So I know. we need to come in to check yep. your meter. I'm afraid it doesn't work like that. I'm not. I'm not doing all this with you. I said it was nearly two hours before. Um, my, the, the, the amount of distress that my child has been through due to you is is, is unreal. Okay, so I'm not. I'm not. I'm not going to go through this anymore. It's not in my interest to. We're I find that hard, as you'll know, because I just can't stand injustice, you know, and criminals. And belligerent acts of terrorism. Why I just can't stand it. Your gas and electric, then, or you electric? I beg your pardon. <laughs> so you've come to my, so you've come to my door saying that you need to check my, and just, and just nonchalantly and casually throwing in. Oh, why aren't you paying your bills then? You've paid a pound that, to, at well, my door. <laughs> That, if no. you were in debt. You're making a lot of claims. A again, in debt. Have you got evidence of the fact that I'm in debt to you? In debt to you? Mm -hmm. Oh, dear. We are here for health and safety reasons. You just remind me of your name, young lady. You just remind me of your name. Uh, my name is, my ID is P3214204. That's a strange name. What's the name? P31420. I can't see, sorry. P31420. Oh, you don't have no house surprise. You've got no ID, just a number attached to you. Just a number attached to you. And yet, you, even though you think you're breaking into my home, 
getting your backups to break in again. You see, I've got it on video as well. It's been seen with your gentleman friend saying, next time we're going to bash the door down. Remember when I caught you on Tuesday? Don't do the roll dice. We've got you on camera. Like, I'm not having these juvenile arguments. What's your next, what's your next chess move? Oh, wow, she's getting involved again. Now she's having conversations. You'll see, guys, the criminality just keeps perpetuating. They j police just can't stay out of it, can they? Can you, excuse me, officer, could you tell me who the policewoman's speaking to? And why? Could you tell me who the policewoman's speaking to and why? speaking to another colleague of Right, and why is she doing that? I don't know. I've literally just seen her collect the phone off that. Um, the Do you not think that's strange behaviour, that she's discussing things with Eon? Well, we're allowed to speak with agencies, aren't we? N not on someone else's behalf, though, because right? then it's in someone's favour. Not on someone else's behalf. Is there any chance you could get that glass of water in there? I have a really, really dry mouth. Police are completely getting involved. on the phone to Eon. They're talking about switching me off now. Can I ask you, officer, why you're discussing switching us off? I was just asking the question. <laughs> you're, you're a cheeky imp, you are, and I'm being kind. You shouldn't be asking these types of questions. They're nothing to do with you, officer, and you know that. Are you switching somebody off? You're having that conversation with someone, are you? Wow. Thank you, precious girl. Excuse me, officer. Can you explain to me what's happening? Um, I don't know. Could you find out then, please? Because you were just discussing my 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 ability to have electric, so. But you've just spoken to a gentleman there. You've just spoken to them. Basically, we are still, Eon, still wanting to try and get into your property to see the... Yeah. ...with their warrant. No, 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 no. The locksmith's gone to try and gain access. That locksmith has before, I mind you'll be held liable as personal capacity for criminal, for criminal damages. He won't damage it. It doesn't matter, he's breaking in. Where is the locksmith? Where? Stop rolling your eyes and just answer a goddamn question. I've asked where the locksmith is. Is this his van? Right, thank you. That's all you had to state. Good grief. Some attitude problems. I don't blame it this time of the morning. I'm to break into people's house. It makes you miserable, doesn't it? November morning. Come on, let's go and break into a single woman's house with children. Let's do that. Oh, God, that makes me depressed. I can see it in your face. What's the locksmith waiting for? For it to warm up or... What's he waiting for? I'm asking. Not waiting for anything. He's looking at the lock. Right. It's all right, Miguel. It's all right, baby. Yeah, and you need to tell them that it's fraudulent. It hasn't been signed by Justice of the Peace. It has no signature. I was given no... Excuse me, officer, you need to tell your sergeant. I was given no summons, and by, 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 there's no due process on this, so I've had no summons, no right to defend myself. You can't be given a warrant on that basis. It's also fraudulent anyway by the fact it has no signature, and they weren't be able to provide me. They weren't able to provide me with the evidence that they laid out before the Justice of the Peace. You can't just go, as they, as they do, in a bulk centre to get it rubber-stamped. It doesn't work like that I'm afraid you can't just enter someone's house so I want all of that evidence so can I just ask why the locksmith is breaking in if you've got to take a picture of the summon the, the warrant to check it's valid to give to the office then why are they why are you breaking into my door so what is it for but what does he want it for she what does she want it for we don't it doesn't matter about gender I'm asking what does she want it for I'm asking you a question what does she want it for I'm entitled to know. What does she want it for? Could you just advise if the officer is 
which is feisty this one three four six six is her id badge excuse me officer the one that hasn't given me id at my door and is pretending that she's so busy on that phone the false eyelashes in can be your visuals while policing could you please tell me what the warrant was given for could you tell me what the warrant was for could you tell because you won't answer my questions i've asked you i've asked you a numerous five times now what did you say you won't engage <laughs> well you're well you're getting i'm not going to get engaged good grief you are here in a civil matter i don't want to engage with you i want you to go and sit back in your car and do your job in a civil matter which is not to adjudicate do you understand legislation or the law no you do not no you do not law degree oh good grief good grief well then you shouldn't be adjudicating should you should you criminal and justice act 2015 you're proficient with that so what are you doing stood by the door so what are you doing stood here so what are you doing stood here so what are you doing stood here checking that the locksmith does a good job what are you doing what are you doing so what are you doing then well you're not though because you're aiding and abetting aren't you these people trying to break in okay i've got no answers so it's, it goes back to teenage okay oh god i can't deal with these people So we're going to choose again. Officers, could you please uh, detail to me the ways in which you're getting in after you've broken the lock? Sorry, say that again. Could you tell me how you're getting into this property after you've broken the lock? That'll be up to Ian. No, of course it's not up to Ian on how they break, break into my homes. So you let them shoot the door down because you say it's up to them. I'm asking you, officer. That means that they deem necessary. No, not if they deem necessary. I can't believe you're actually saying that on camera. Ian will decide how they get into my home, how they I deem necessary. Know. You're the officer. You're the officer. So I'm asking you how they're breaking into my home, how you're allowing that. I'm not allowing anything. But you are. I've said once they've broken the lock, how are you allowing them to come in? They'll be going in under their warrant. But they, they can't because there's a barrage of locks on the door. So I'm asking well, you. You said if they get in. So if they get in, they'll be going in. No, 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 no. I didn't say that. Please listen to my question. I said once they've broken the lock, yeah. how do they then plan on getting in? You have to ask them that. No, no. I'm asking you. So if they start shooting at my door with a gun, you'll go, well, it's nothing to do with me. It's a civil matter. I don't think that's how. So I'm asking you, how far will you allow them to go? How far are they deem necessary to get in? No, that's, no, 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 no. That's not, that you can't, an officer cannot say how far you'll allow them to go. I don't think so. You're the officer here. You said you weren't talking to me. You said you weren't talking to me. I've asked you how they're going to get in after they've broken the lock. I said I didn't know. But you're the officer. But I'm not here to break the law no but you're here to in enforce the law aren't you which says that they can only use reasonable force which is to tr do the lock you know that whatever reasonable force is but right now i'm just trying so i'm asking you what that is is the officer here you know, we'll see. You, you're genuinely saying that without embarrassment who oh, knows we'll see yeah who knows will who knows who knows how far i'll let them break well, into your house you know, We'll see. That's terribly worrying and dystopian, isn't it? Who knows? I'm only an officer. Who knows? We'll see what I'll allow them to do. Let's see. Exactly. Exactly. You're here for breach of the peace. You're allowing. You. You said you're. You're allowing them to do their their in inverted commas job like the Nazis, but their job stops. Stops, doesn't it? Then at the lock. So I'm asking you, as the officer, how far are you going to allow them? That, I'm asking you very specific questions here. I'm asking you, please. I don't know why this lady keeps... She just said she's not speaking with me, but she continues to. But she continues. I can't... Against my better judgment, I'm going to engage with you, even though you couldn't speak civilly to me first time. So what is it with regards to the warrant you want to say on camera? There is a warrant for the magistrate. 
This, you said you had a law degree. This is worrying. Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh dear. Please, please just walk away. You don't know what you're talking about. And I don't want to engage with you any further. I can't stand to speak to people who don't know what they're talking about. You're so young. Okay, I'm not having this discussion with you anymore. The neighbours back now. Oh God, the neighbours are outside. It's horrendous. Okay. Can you get the black thing from the, the kitchen that holds the door handle? Quick. Nothing's happened. Hopefully not, but even if they do, they're not coming here. It's okay, my son. Officer, I'm talking to that locksmith. Could you just, I don't know if you can hear me. Who's talking to me, sorry? The locksmith. Oh, right, he's talking to me. I can't, I can't see him from here. I can only see him in the reflection, sorry. He'll be able to give you his ID once he's... Uh... No, you ha obviously you have to give it to me. You know that. But whoever's breaking into your home, I need the ID. Of. You will be held liable in your personal capacity, Mr Locksmith. Don't think you'll get away with this. Your job is to check that warrant. But because you see you have no, uh, no legal training, you can't say that's fraudulent. So you will be held liable. As you know, young man. trouble every single one of you every single one of you Maybe. I want to be scared, baby. My mum's protecting me. I told you this would happen. It's what criminals do, my darling. It's what criminals do. Try and frighten you. I know, I never did that impression. I can't lift you. This is not the time, baby. This is not the time. I know, baby. Everything's alright, precious. you locksmith you're in a whole heap of trouble if you come into this house if you break you're already in trouble and you will be held liable in your personal capacity for breaking and entering into this property criminally don't think you won't just because you're doing your job it doesn't work like that you absolutely will and i know you think you've got the protection of eon or the police but you haven't that's why i said you're going to be liable in your own personal capacity Discussing how they're going to pick my lock. Isn't she a stupid little girl? She's discussing the police officer how she thinks they should pick my lock. Yes, they are. Yes. And this locksmith is in big trouble and he doesn't know it yet. There's now two police vans here. Just to fright, no, it's three police vans. Three police vans are here for a civil matter. And the Eon. 
but they're not trying to intimidate me, of course. <laughs> it's okay, my darling. It's okay, baby. It's okay. How many people there are here? All against a woman on her own. Look how many officers there are, everyone. One, two, three, four, five, six police officers for a woman on her own with a young child. Not at all intimidating, not at all. Oh, of course the neighbour needs to be out, of course he does in his car while this is going on. Locksmith's gone away from the door, so it's either gone round the back or it's going to go and get a massive tool. They're going round the back, baby. They're going round the back, I just heard the lady say. Just keep round that back, please, while I keep the front, baby girl, please. Okay, baby, thank you. Oh my gosh. I'm so sorry about this, my angel. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry all this has happened. Tell me when you hear that back door being fiddled. You need to look at this here. Please look. Please look. I've just rang them again. I've rang them again. That please bring Birmingham. They said there is none. Where's the phone? Can you get my phone, baby? precious one so much. Everything's okay. I get past that lock on my gate. Why did they open that? Oh god, I'm so stupid. How did they open that gate? 
this is not how I expected the morning to go. Currently got one, two, two of the officers in my garden, people from Eon and, and the locksmith, all in my back garden. This is after, I think we're nearly an hour now, they've tried, tried the front, tried drilling. And now they're coming around my back, three or four police vans outside in an attempt to intimidate me. People can see what criminals these are and the lengths they'll go to and how they don't stop. They're fully back again in full force. And I don't use the word force lightly. I'm going to decide what's best to do now. I'm going to open this window now. That's what I'm going to do. Can you tell me what you're doing, please? Um, we will have to build the locks so we can gain access. Okay, again, you're not going to be able to get in though. We've already discussed this. All locks on the doors. Well. We can drill the lock if, and then we will replace the lock if you will allow us access. I've we told you no, 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 you're not well, coming in. We need to drill the lock, we need to get in. You can drill that lock, I'm telling you there's all locks on the door though, so you'll be walking away empty handed again. Yeah, we have to try because that's our job. Okay, i tell you what you could do is give me an actual warrant that's not fraudulent. That's a push though, isn't it? Birmingham Magistrates Court, they said there's nothing of me on their system. No outstanding warrant. Can you read that? Birmingham Magistrates, Paul Waring, if the Birmingham Magistrates Court saying there's no warrant, why you're saying that there isn't breaking in? I'm asking you, young lady, could you tell me? No. I know, because you don't have the facts. Is Paul Waring lying? Is he a liar? Thank you for your reply. Good afternoon. I can find no outstanding warrants at this court in the name of and date of birth. I'm asking you how you think you can come into someone's property criminally when it says from Paul Waring, Birmingham Magistrates, where you claim you got your warrant from, they say there are no warrants. Someone's telling some poor kids and it's either Paul or you. Who's telling the lies? You can't explain it, can you? because you know it's criminal. Why the officers are allowing this, I don't know why they're not ringing the court, even though it's not their job to adjudicate. All they've got to do is ring and say, can we just confirm? And they will tell them straight away because they're officers. And they say, I'm sorry, sorry, sir. There's no outstanding warrants, which means you can't break into somebody's house. We all know that, that's law. We don't break into somebody's house on something fraudulent. If there was a warrant and you know full well, if I'd murdered, if I'd stolen, if I'd done something criminal, if I rang the courts now, they'd say there's a warrant outstanding for you. There is no warrant outstanding, so I'm asking you why you think you can break into this house. Criminals don't have answers, do they? Because all they can use is force. I just want to, uh, I just wanted to show everybody this, uh, this letter, but I didn't want to show my personal details but if you can just see there it says there no outstanding warrants in this court my name um that's the email that i had from them but they're ignoring that completely so there he is i got him I've got his face there here they come oh god here we go
good. I wish this would end. I can't believe I'm having to do this. Girl, come here a minute, please. Just give me a drink, please, my drink. I don't know how long this is going to last, so we're just going to have to hold tight, mate. Stop breaking my door! I'm worried that they're not going to try and just get in the lock. They're trying to bash the door which is criminal as we know anyway. Oh God, what are they doing now? What are they doing? Oh God. Police van is now down the, down the alleyway. Smith again. Oh God. All of this, baby, Mama hasn't committed any crime. She's done nothing wrong to anyone. See what I mean? Here we go. Oh God, they just won't leave. hammer. It's using a hammer to snap, snap my door. I did believe it was only a drill, but a hammer's getting involved now. Actually bashing my door. Oh my God, they are bashing the door. Belligerent act of terrorism, bashing the door aided by the police. Hammering my door. Not just drilling it, not just picking it. He's hammering my door now. Absolute criminals, absolute criminals. This locksmith hasn't checked the warrant. He doesn't know if it's fraudulent or not. He doesn't know anything about it. This is the second time that they have come back to criminally break into this house. They've been around the front for over an hour. 
and now they're at the back they've broken through the alley gate at the back they've broken through my back door gate and now they're trying to break through the back door as well hammering my door hammering my door yes and he's not giving up on this one he's coming back again with the drill i'm putting my full body weight on this key here Stop bashing the door! My child is in here! My child is in this room! Stop bashing the door! I think they're going to use force. That's the locksmith trying to get into my back gate. He's hammered my door. He's used force on my door. It wasn't just the lock. He actually tried to break it with the hammer. Oh, they are unreal. I think they're going to come back. I don't think they're stopping yet. And come back again. With a bigger drill now, or who knows. I can't believe this is happening. I just can't believe it. The lengths they will go to, to allegedly check a meter, because they said it's a health and safety, yet they have nothing to prove there is a safety issue. And suddenly, the moment at which they threaten me with prepayment meters, smart meters, disconnection, de-energization, the list goes on, it's only at that point they then say, right, we're getting a warrant to break into your property. Yeah. Well, I'm afraid they're not, they're not. So they're threatening now to disconnect with a child in the property. They're threatening to disconnect now. And they're saying, if you don't, if you don't let us in, this is called Boolean Grammar. If you don't let us in, then we will do this to you. There will be consequences for you not allowing us to be criminal. You're not letting me speak. So I won't tell you what okay. I'm going to tell you because you won't let me speak. Okay, then. We will be going back to court. Okay. We are going back the same court that we've just showed you the letter of, saying there's no warrant. That same court, you mean? You must think the... Yeah, absolute joke. Going to the All right. I, I, you, you, your threat's falling on deaf ears. Electricity Northwest will get involved so that they can All right. possibly disconnect you. All right, then. Street. Okay. Don't shut my window and get out my garden. All of you. Uh, change your, uh, your lock or not? Yeah, the locksmith can once you've gone. Well, no, he's with us. Oh, does he? He belongs to you then, does he? No, he's, he's with us. Do you think I'm going to let the locksmith check? This is your trick, he's... isn't it? This is your trick. The locksmith won't fix your lock unless you let us in. No. He has to get in to change your lock. So I can lock this gate and let the locksmith stay in no, then? Lock, the lock so I, you know I don't trust that. That's your game, yeah, isn't it? Just... Right, off you go then. We've told you we will come and change it. No, you Don't haven't. Know. No, you haven't. You've done it on the proviso. You've left us insecure on the proviso that you can come in. That's what you've actually said. You said you're meant to give me your ID, locksmith. No, he's going to walk away. We are not. All right. Okay. All right. Why are you getting another warrant if Northwest are coming around, silly billies? You just said you're going to get another warrant. We just heard you. We are getting another warrant to come back. So why are Northwest getting involved? You just said they're disconnecting. So what's your problem? That could happen if what? you do not let us gain. No, access. no, no. We'll take the Northwest option, please. We'll take the Northwest. Have right, that on fine. video. We'll take that option, you want that option over fine. you coming back. Thank you very much. Because they'll have to, they'll have to provide certificates, and we'll be in touch with the National Grid. Can I have your ID, please? Can I have your ID, please? What's your name? And you know that doesn't. Can I see your ID, please? Can I? Which locksmith are you from? Who are you from? Teamwork locksmiths. Right. What's your name, please? You do have to, of course you do, you're breaking in my home. You're breaking in my home. Can you leave my garden, please, now? Would you like a new lock? I want you to leave me. I want you to leave. You've done enough damage. You break my lock and then sit there saying, would you like, would you like another lock? I want you to get out. You're a criminal. You're a criminal. Get out now. Twice you come, twice you pick my lock the first time, then you drill it and leave us vulnerable with a child, and then outside you say, would you like a lock? 
absolute jokes and you'll only fix it you'll only fix it so you can cut as if you can come in you must think i'm actually daft and then you can conveniently check the meter all right off you go now please all of you tail between your legs all of you for the second time off you go thanks for your time they've left Okay, it's over my baby, it's over for now, for now.